Canada. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, Scott Feinberg. How are you? I'm very well. Nice to see you. I've always wanted to interview you. Thank you. That's so nice. You're the master of interviews, after all. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. And where are your parents? Because you usually they are, them. They are seated inside. I wanted to make sure we got here on time. It would be bad for me to arrive late tonight, so we're all set. I think it's adorable that you bring your parents. Well, I got myself into this last year by, I thought, you know, I was doing three of the I think seven tributes, three or the six, seven last year, and I thought if I'm ever going to bring them, that's the year to do it. But then they fell in love with this place, and now I'm stuck doing it every year. I had two cousins also this year, so I've I've really gotten myself into an expensive habit here. But oh my gosh. it's uh, <laughs> it's it's nice. We have a great time here. Yeah, it does seem yeah. like it. Yeah. Uh, have you interviewed Mr. Vong before? Never. I've never met him. I'm very excited to. I mean, I've been at things where he's been, but haven't had a chance to speak with him before so I have been I feel like I know him though because I have done a lot of prep and I hope I know what I'm talking about and we'll see soon. I'm always <coughs> impressed with how well prepared you are it's remarkable I you. like to watch you more than oh that's yeah, so sweet thank you time, I mean honestly. but it's I'm sure it's for the same reasons that you and other journalists of our people in our profession um, you know, do it is just because it's scarier to think about being caught not knowing what you're Absolutely. talking about. So I, I that's the main motivator. Well, I like I, I get style points from you too. Well, thank you. Um, thank you. You're going to be working with a translator, however. Have you done that before? I have not here in Santa Barbara, as far as I can recall. But I've done it. Um, have done it. I'm trying to think. I'm, on my podcast, we did it with recently Marie Kondo from that Netflix show. Uh, tidying up with Marie Kondo, you know, it's you just obviously have to budget for um, that taking a little bit more time. But his his translator, Bong's translator, is has like a, her own following right now because she's been with him for the whole time since Can, and she's young and uh, fun and funny and just people love her. So she's, I think it'll, and he's he's very funny. So between the two of them, I think it's gonna keep keep it moving. Isn't that great? Um, we were just told that culturally, they have to work, even though he has a command of the English language, you know he has a degree in sociology? Yes, yes. I do. Um, and his brother teaches English lit. So I think he knows more than he lets on. But he does, but yeah. here's why he has a translator, culturally yeah. speaking. Oh, yeah. If something is messed up or said incorrectly, yeah. it's the translator's fault. It's culturally. Okay, Culturally, yeah, she, she falls on the sword. That's, well, it's good good protection. I think we could all use somebody like that, right? Yeah, right? That's, would you <laughs> I need one, one? yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well, what's been, the, what's been the highlight for you that, so far? This? Renee Zellweger. She was cool, right? Oh, my gosh. She was great. So, so soft-spoken and so sweet and yep. just so charming and just so she was available great. and present. It's and true. She's just great. Just really lovely and just uber talented yeah. yeah it's nice to see her also kind of come back after being written off i mean there were a few years there where people yeah just, just we thought she all yeah, disappeared that was and, it. and so she waited can you imagine picking the wrong project but then she didn't pick just a great project she picked oh. something that was well but who knows if, if it would have been wow. a good project without her I mean, that, she, that's what I mean. Yeah, I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, that it could have been. She waited for a project that was worthy right of her talents. Her, yeah. Actually, that was yes. true. And and uh, I would never have thought of Renee Zellweger as Judy Garland, but there you go. She killed it. Killed it. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a lock too on the Oscar. I kind of do too, but I said that last year with Glenn Close, and then the whole world was wrong. So I know. Uh, I know. I you know, was mortified. And I, I had I a felt wonderful sorry for her. with Glenn, yeah. Close, Glenn Close. Yeah. I mean, I think. Really what it comes too. down to is a Best Picture nominee, people make sure to watch the movie. If you're not in a Best Picture nominee, it goes a little lower in the pile. So last year, Olivia Coleman from The Favorite was in a Best Picture nominee. They watched that movie. Glenn Close was it, the only nomination for a film. I think maybe some people just didn't get around to even watching it. So in the Academy, where... You know, it's people all around the world. I, who knows? Who knows? But that was a—it's probably the biggest upset of the decade. I agree with you. I was mortified when she didn't win. It's really bad. I, I, I was Her daughter so, was sitting so behind me at the show. Oh dear! And oh started because they only let you sit with two, so it was her. Glenn was sitting with somebody in the in the down low, and then one level up was behind me was her daughter and her husband, and the daughter was very emotional because you feel so bad for. 
your mom, you think finally it's everyone's telling her it's going to happen, and then it's just like, yeah, terrible. it was such an upset. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you think Parasite could ups, upset the whole best picture? It's possible. You know, I read your predictions. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank I, you. It's a really interesting. Thank you. you. I mean, we try to try stuff. to keep yeah. a pulse, but you know. The thing that makes it tough is this preferential ballot that the Academy now uses where it's not just what movie gets the most votes for Best Picture. You, you, they rank them, and then your number one vote is worth a certain amount, your number two. So the point is, it's the movie that most people at least like, and that could be this, but it's never happened before, non-English language Best Picture. So, you know, it's hard yeah, to... Yeah, that's why I don't know why it isn't in, isn't in the foreign film language. Well, it is, so it's there too, but well, it, it might win, too. could win both. Oh. Which has never happened. That would be a huge so upset, we'll see. Oh I, I, I think it would be pretty cool. But be really interesting. We'll see. Well, Scott Feingold, thank you for um, speaking with thank me. Do you. I have your permission nice to, to put you. this up on YouTube? Do whatever you want. But F E I N B E R G. Feinberg. F E I N B E R G. Yep. Right. And uh, Hollywood Reporter. And I'll see you next year. And Superstar. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you. My Take pleasure. Care. Bye. Bye.